Are you thinking of starting a Toro business? If so, then this video is for you. Hey there! My name is Jacob from New Money, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the pros and cons of starting a Toro car rental business, and see if it's still worth it. Now, I'm not here to tell you whether or not to start a Toro business, because only you can decide that. But what I can do is give you an honest overview of what to expect, so you can make an informed decision. Alright, let's get started. For those who don't know yet, let me first explain what Turo is and how it works. Turo is a revolutionary car rental service that uses the power of the sharing economy to provide an alternative form of transportation. With Turo, you can rent vehicles from private owners located all over the world and have them delivered to your door. The process is simple. First, you search for a vehicle in your area. Then, decide what type of rental agreement works best for you. And finally, book the car through their secure platform. Once booked, you will get access to all the features and tools associated with the car, such as unlocking it with your phone or accessing its navigation system. Turo also offers a wide range of insurance coverage options so that you can feel safe and secure while on your journey. Additionally, every Turo-approved vehicle includes roadside assistance in case there are any unforeseen problems during your travels. With this convenient service at your fingertips, renting a car has never been easier. Now let's talk about the pros of starting a Turo business. Starting a Toro car rental business is an excellent opportunity for entrepreneurs who want to take advantage of the sharing economy. Not only does it offer the potential to make a great profit, but also helps people save money and have a more convenient car rental experience. Turo is the world's leading peer-to-peer -peer car sharing company with over 8 million users and 600,000 vehicles across more than 5,500 cities in North America and Europe. As a result, you can be sure that your vehicle will be seen by thousands of potential renters all around the world. With Turo's extensive network, you can easily list and rent out your vehicle at competitive prices while providing unique experiences to travelers. The platform provides liability insurance coverage, which makes renting much safer for both parties involved. Additionally, due to its dynamic pricing system, you can adjust your rates based on demand and availability, allowing you to maximize your profits while being flexible in meeting customer needs. Turo also has 24 7 roadside assistance available in case of an emergency so that customers can feel secure during their travels. Finally, starting a Turo car rental business is relatively simple since there are no upfront costs or long-term contracts required. All you need is a vehicle that meets the requirements set by Turo, such as providing some basic documents regarding ownership and registration information. You can start making money right away after listing your vehicle on their website. Before we go further, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Alright, let's continue. Now let's discuss the cons of starting a Toro car rental business. Starting a Toro car rental business can be a great way to make money, but it is not without its risks. The first risk is the potential for legal issues. In addition, there are also questions about how states and localities regulate the use of private vehicles as part of a rental agreement. Furthermore, you may find yourself liable for any accidents that occur while someone else has possession of your car. Another area of concern with a Turo business is safety regulations and standards. Since you are responsible for providing quality vehicles to rent, you must ensure they meet all applicable safety requirements. This can involve regular inspections and maintenance as well as keeping up with recalls on particular models or parts in order to keep customers safe. The third risk associated with this business model is reliability. You must be prepared for the occasional renter who does not show up at all or breaks down during their trip. This could mean having to pay for costly repairs out of pocket or dealing with unhappy customers because their trip was disrupted by an unreliable vehicle. Additionally, if a customer experiences difficulties during their rental period, such as a lack of communication from the host or difficulty locating parking spots in certain areas, it can lead to negative reviews that may hurt future bookings for your business. Finally, there is no guarantee that Toro will remain successful long-term due to competition from other companies entering the marketplace. It is evident that starting a Toro car rental business has many cons and potential risks. From having to pay taxes on income to the possibility of encountering fraudulent customers, there are multiple issues entrepreneurs must consider before taking a leap. Additionally, while Toro offers many benefits such as automatic payments and low fees, they also come with the disadvantage of having limited coverage on vehicle damages and customer support. Ultimately, starting a Turo business requires extensive research, knowledge of local laws, a reliable vehicle, and being aware of the potential pitfalls involved in this type of business venture. Therefore, entrepreneurs who want to be successful should take all these points into consideration before deciding whether or not to start their own Turo business. 
Now that we have discussed the pros and cons of a Turo car rental business, you are probably wondering if it will be profitable. And the answer is yes. Having a Turo business is still a very profitable venture and is becoming increasingly popular every year. This can be especially attractive for those who own multiple cars or maybe just one car that isn't being used full-time. Over the last few years, Turo has seen tremendous growth in both revenue and customers, and with an ever-growing customer base, rental prices remain competitive and profits are continuing to increase. So if you're looking for additional income, having a Turo business could be exactly what you need. Now, let's ask the real question. Should you start a Turo business? All things considered, Turo is still a good business and is a great option for entrepreneurs looking to make some passive income. Despite the shortage of cars, there is still plenty of opportunity to get into the business and make money without having to purchase a fleet of vehicles. Even though this type of business requires a certain amount of risk-taking, statistics show that there are potential long-term benefits. One thing that sets Turo apart from traditional car rental companies is the ability to rent out your own personal vehicle, meaning you can keep your costs low while also having access to more potential customers. In addition, Turo offers many protections like insurance coverage and 24-hour roadside assistance so you won't have to worry about any unexpected expenses. Plus, their intuitive platform makes listing, managing, and monitoring rentals easy work. When starting out in this industry, it's important to do your research and learn as much as possible about how the system works and what the best strategies for success are. This includes learning how to identify reliable renters, setting appropriate prices for your services, protecting yourself against theft or damage, and creating an attractive listing that stands out from other competitors. The key when it comes to deciding whether or not it's still worth it to start a Turo business is understanding that there are risks involved but also potential rewards if done correctly. With proper knowledge and preparation, you can capitalize on the growing demand for car rentals all over the world and create a profitable passive income stream for years to come. Now it's up to you. Are you willing to take that step forward and become a Toro entrepreneur? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss another thing. And if you want to see more videos like this one, leave a comment letting us know. We hope you found this information helpful and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.